They're everywhere. Bad for the environment. Do you really know what's in your plastic? Hi, my name is Sneha Krishnan. Hi, my name is Fanny. Hi, my name is Minverica Ben. Our project aims at raising awareness about the harmful chemicals used in plastics today. Endocrine disruptors are chemicals that interfere with several organs and glands in the body. Endocrine disruptors essentially poison these glands and can put the system completely out of balance. For example, BPA adds more estrogen to the system, which can cause many reproductive defects and like early onset of puberty. Bottles like these contain chemicals like BPA that can leach into the environment and can go through environmental pathways to make their way into our bodies. To better understand the amount of endocrine disruptors and plastic used, we did a case study of Costa Rica. And ever since about the 1990s, their amount of plastic usage has gone way up because of tourists, and their landfills have been filled with plastic bottles and other packaging pl plastics. And during the hot summer months, these chemicals leach into the soil and into the water, harming marine life and throwing the pH levels and all of that in the water out of balance. So, what's our plan? Well, we're going to come up with a sturdy plastic bottle that contains no endocrine disruptors. Oh. Are there any companies that already do this? Actually, there's a company called Novomer in Massachusetts, and they do research in New York. And they've been able to create bottles like these out of carbon dioxide in the air, recycling the carbon dioxide using a catalyst and a very easy, economically efficient um, reaction. And they've been able to create various types of plastic that are completely chemical free.